Okay, what we should do now is we should make somebody else draw the picture. Come on, Angelo. Angelo, I'm gonna help you. Yeah, he drew windows in his building. He did. He did. Attention to detail. It's a pretty. It's a pretty. What that is? All right. Okay, control point is established in the field between RH number one and RH number two. So draw a line between two points and call them number one and number two. I don't care which way the line is, it doesn't matter. You pick. So I draw like the control point? Yep. So it has to be in line? Yep, they're on a line. Okay, so Angelo doesn't know this, so I'm going to help him out because he hasn't seen the whole problem yet. So we're actually, that's profile view, we're actually looking down, so let me see your pin. So, I think if I get you started, you'll be able to do the rest. So here's what we got. We're looking down, like we're on the in the drone. One and two, got it? Okay. All right, next part of the question says, the horizontal distance between the two control points is 486.54 feet. So let's write that down. Okay, a total station is set up at RH control point number two. Okay, so I'm just going to circle it so we remember where the gun's at, all right? Okay, and a backside is taken to control point number one. So Angela just draws an arrow pointed that direction so we know which way our backside's going. Yeah, I don't know what kind of arrow that is, but we'll take it. All right, so we backside number one. Thank you. You know what? Put BS on top of the arrow so we know that's our backside. Okay. The scope is inverted. Does everybody know what that means? You back sight, you turn, you flop the scope. Now we're pointed forward. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Just so I remember in my note that I inverted the scope, I'm going to just draw me a little arrow like that. Okay. So now, after I invert the scope, which way is the total station pointing, Angelo? If we back sighted and plunge the scope, inverted the scope, which way are we pointing? That way or this way? We're pointing forward. This is why we need to get Elena out in the field. Okay, so hang on real quick, because Elena, Elena and Austin may not understand what we're talking about. Okay, so we set the, the total station on control point number two. Okay, we got it leveled. Hunter's point number one. We look at Hunter, we take our back sight, we get lined up, right? Okay, when I say invert the scope or plunge the scope, we do this. So are we pointing, we're not pointing one now, we're pointing forward. Now what I want you guys to understand is when we do that, essentially what that lets us do now is we can, we can extend that line out, just like the extend function in AutoCAD, right? That's what plunging the scope does for you. Okay. Okay, Angelo, here's our next point. <clears throat> A deflection angle to the left is measured to RH control point number three from a setup at RH control point number two. Okay, so we got to try and draw this deflection angle. Deflection angle. Okay, so <clears throat> does anybody know what a deflection angle is? Okay. Not to explain it. <laughs> if you if I'm sighted, so let's go back to our example. So I back sighted hundred and I plunge my scope. Now I'm looking this way. Okay, a deflection angle means I go either this way or this way from my forward line. So which way did I go? Yeah. Left. So I went left 135 degrees. So I'm going to start spinning. You guys tell me when I'm at 135 degrees. There you go. That's pretty yeah. close. Yeah. Okay, so draw us a line over here to RH number three. Does everybody understand what a deflection angle is? So the left or right is important because mm -hmm. if you get that wrong, you're going to be mirrored. Right? You're going to mirror where you're at. Okay, there's RH number three. Thank you, Mr. Cazares. Okay, the horizontal distance of the perpendicular tie line between RH number three and the control line is 136.81 feet. So let's just take that a little slower. So we've got a perpendicular tie between RH three and the control line. Can you draw that, Angelo? <clears throat> perpendicular line from three to the control line between one and two. Okay, this is your line between one and two. What's perpendicular to one and two? From three. Do you see how that's perpendicular? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so Angelo, that distance is 136.81 feet. So write that on there for us. Just somewhere close. 
Okay. Now I want to know, here's the question. What is the horizontal distance between RH control point 2 and 3? So we want to solve for this x. What is x? Okay. Now, if we knew what this distance was, we could use Pythagorean theorem here because we have two sides, but we don't. I don't know where this lands on this line, well, okay, you got, but... you got all three angles on that triangle, though. We have this angle, okay? So, now again, we got to use our brains here. Who thinks this angle is 135 degrees in 12 seconds? It's not, because you got to remember, we got this 90 degrees here, right? So we turn the full 90, then we got whatever's left to 135, and then we want the difference. Okay, so 90 from 135, so we've got 45 degrees, zero minutes, 12 seconds. Does everybody see that? That's this little piece right here. 135, okay? We want to know what's left after the 90, 45, 0, 0, 12, okay? Now we can take 90 minus that and we come up with this. Or, that's just the way my brain works. If it's easier for you, you can take 180 minus 135. It, it, it's interesting watching you work these problems. because I'm Yeah, like, okay, like, so you have to remember, work. my foster son and I have a lot in common. My brain does not work like most people's, okay? So that's why everybody else immediately jumped to 180. Okay, so yeah, just take 180 minus 135. Okay, so what does that leave us with? It leaves us with... What is it? 44, 0, 048. 44, 59, 56. Oh, I'm sorry, 59, 48, right? 48, yeah. 48. Because it's 12, not 4. 59, 48. Okay. Okay, so that's our angle in decimal degrees. Okay, so now we got ourselves a right triangle trig problem here, right? Okay, so here's our angle. I'm going to shoot my little laser gun. Okay, so if I shoot my laser gun, I hit this side. So this is my opposite. Okay, and I know this, which one do we know? Oh, okay, opposite, I'm trying to solve for this one. Which side's this? Hypotenuse. Hypotenuse, so now we got sine. We're gonna use sine, right? Hypotenuse, okay. So we're gonna use the sine function with this angle and this distance will give us x. That's how we're gonna solve x. Again, you're gonna solve that without a sketch? Probably not. Yeah, you could, but it'd hurt your brain. Okay, so put that cap on there for us, thank you. Mr. Sketcher, I appreciate it. Mr. Sketcher. All right. Okay, so we're not gonna solve it, I'll let you guys solve it later. You can solve it next week when you got some downtime. Oh, the question 10 is in doses. I dorked up, next is right. Okay. I think we can solve this one without a trick. All right, Austin's gonna draw this one. Yeah, I gotta picture of that one. Yeah, I'll take a picture of it. It's kind of messy, but.